So most of you know me as Miss South Africa. Some of you know me as Marilyn Ramos. But sad thing is very few of you actually know who I am. And the reality is most of the people judge me and see me by my photo shoots, my crown, my sash across my body, my makeup, my hair. But that's not Marilyn. And once you give your life to the Lord, you realize that you're part of this unbelievable plan, this unbelievable purpose that God has for each of us. And growing up, I was always religious. I, I always went to church. I was always the little girl that would Sunday morning run to my mom's bed like half dressed, hair not done. Mommy, mommy, we have to go to church. And I, I was always eager to go to church. I was always eager to learn, but with that in everything in life. And on the contrary to what people think of this girly girl image that I have, I'm actually quite a tomboy. I always used to play with my brother outside with his kariki, sitting in the mud. And, that's what I enjoyed and we had a lady come to us one day telling us that, you know what, your daughter's going to be a Miss South Africa one day, I think. And we both just laughed at her thinking that's never going to happen. But I was always a little overachiever. I was always striving for that performance. I was always striving for that well done. I was always striving for that distinction. I wanted that feeling of satisfaction and prosperity. What I believe was prosperity at least. Then. I went, at the age of 15 already, I went to the World Championships of Performing Arts and to me that was unbelievable. Yeah, this 15 year old is in LA and you come back and all of a sudden everything just stops. And then the fear of what if that was my peak, you know, at the age of 15 you don't want to peak then. What if that was my peak in life? And that got me down tremendously and I think just that fear alone just paralyzed the person and I fell into such a big dip and I'd always tell my mom no it's just it's I'm in a rut I'll get out of it and the more you try and get out of that rut I'm spinning myself deeper into this thing and until you realize no matter what you're chasing after no matter what achievements you want to achieve and how fulfilling something may feel inside your soul be empty inside your soul be searching and the day I walked into CRC and that unbelievable presence and just that, that, that atmosphere of the Lord's grace and love and joy, that unbelievable joy that you experience when you walk into those doors, it's just life changing and that's when I realized life isn't about achievements, life isn't about distinctions, life isn't about titles, life is about knowing who you are knowing who you are in Christ and knowing that that the king of kings died for died for me and just like what a father would want anything for his child so the lord wants for me and coming out of this dip and you know not feeling like you're accomplishing anything you're not reaching anywhere you just carrying on in the same spot but by keeping keep on keeping on and by holding on to the Lord and holding on to his promise that his dreams are so big I got out of that dip and I reached sky high bigger than what I ever thought I could by winning the Miss South Africa title and honestly my life has changed since then and it is all because of the undeserved unmerited and unearned favor that I've received from the Lord after I made him my, my king and my father and accepted him into my life and I let him rule me now I've given him my dreams and I told him Lord whatever your will my will because I seek the Lord I seek his kingdom because that I know is what brings true joy to me and then people come and they say yes but Christians have these perfect lives and but you don't understand my situation my circumstance well if you think I've had it easy please think again because I haven't had just sunshine and roses and that's proof you know the one minute you're on top of the world like with Miss South Africa and the next minute you go to Miss World and you don't accomplish what you planned on accomplishing and it feels like you let someone else down but at the end of the day it's not about letting anybody else down it's about trusting the Lord and knowing that his plans and his will will always come to pass no matter what and even though it does make you wonder and you do feel you know what if 
only you done something different in different competitions or different ways. It's not about that. It's about knowing that the Lord's plans are so much bigger. And if Mark, the plan that he has for my life is bigger than a Miss World and bigger than a Miss Universe title, then I am beyond this world ecstatic to know what he's planned for me because I'm his, I'm his daughter. I've, I've declared him as my Lord, so he's got responsibility over my life. And I know that his love always endures, his faithfulness always endures. He'll never let me down. And you know what's the best part of all? I'm speaking about myself now, but it's not just about me, it's about everybody out there. If you accept the Lord into your life and you hold on to Him through your thick and thins, not just when you not just when you're achieving and not just when you're doing well, but in the down times also. Winning and losing praise in the Lord, He will. And that's a guarantee, give you what your heart desires.